Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is fifth video in Veeam Backup and Replication Advanced Training. So in this video I am going to show you how to add Microsoft Hyper-V server to Veeam Backup and Replication. So um, uh, as we all know Veeam can take the backup of a virtual machine which is running on Microsoft Hyper-V servers or a uh, VMware ESXi server. So let's uh, in this video I am going to focus on uh, Hyper-V, uh, how we can add the Hyper-V in Veeam and uh, how we can um, like see the virtual machine which is running on a Hyper-V and how we can basically uh, get the Hyper-V added to the Veeam console. So let's have some idea about my uh, lab environment. So this is my lab environment and in last video we have Active Directory and Veeam server and in this video we have a new server which is Hyper-V server so you can see here uh, the first machine is WinTuk12 DC01 which is my Active Directory server which is running a Victor InfoSol domain if you go here you can see this is my domain controller and Active Directory and DNS role is added here and the second machine is Veeam uh, our server which is WinTuk12 hyphen Veeam and which is running Veeam backup and replication server so this is also in Victor Info Soul domain so here is my Veeam server so I'm going to open the Veeam console here so let's connect So here we have option in uh, inventory. You can see we have a uh, option to add vSphere uh, server, Microsoft Hyper V, and much more. So what we have next is WinTuk12 HV01, which is our, our standalone Hyper V server. So let's see this Hyper V server also. You can see this is running Hyper V role, and if I go here and Hyper V Manager you can see this machine running two VMs which is VM01 and VM02 both are join in domain you can see here so for example these two machines are a production server which is running on Hyper-V host as a virtual machine so um, before doing this we can go uh, to AD and see what the AD object in our compute uh, Active Directory and users and computers to just verify. So if I go in India and see the servers, you can see we have a Veeam server, we have a Hyper V host, and we have a two virtual machine which is running on this Hyper V host. So all four machines are in um, this domain vector info soul, and all our window uh, computer are Windows, and they are joined in my domain which is Victor InfoSoul. So let's move. So we are going to add this Hyper-V host in our Veeam backup and replication console. So what are the prerequisites? So we are going to uh, check the requirements to add Hyper-V host in Veeam. So the first thing which you need to make sure you uh, the shares are accessible like file and print sharing must be enabled and allowed from Windows firewall. So uh, what does mean because Veeam is going to install these services Veeam installer service, Veeam data mover service and Veeam Hyper-V integration services. So these services are basically going to mm, going to push from Veeam server to the Hyper-V host. So while uh, while during this uh, adding the Veeam server uh, Hyper-V host in Veeam console these are uh, these application are getting um, a post from this Veeam server so you need to verify the shares are accessible and you having no problem like firewall is not blocking to shares or uh, access the shares on a Hyper-V host so I am just going to verify here if I click OK you can see we can get the Hyper-V host so it means uh, the firewall is not blocking uh, uh, shares so this is good news so so during the installation uh, we are uh, able to install these tools so the second name a uh, second thing which we need to make sure if you are using the host name you need to make sure the NetBIOS name resolution for Hyper-V hosts must be 
getting resolved so as you know I have uh, checked the host name here so it's resolving the name there are other way to get the verified so I'm going to open its command prompt I'm going to do ns lookup and I'm going to type the server name into 12 hv 01 so you can see it's resolving my Hyper-V host name and the IP address both so this is good news so the shares are accessible and NetBIOS name is also accessible and the second thing the last thing which we need to make sure the selected credential for uh, for the account during the installation must have an administrative privilege so while uh, we deploy the uh, during the deployment uh, deployment of uh, these tools these three tools uh, Veeam server is going to verify uh, the Veeam service account having uh, administrative rights or not so for now we have added this you can see if I go here and manage credential you can see I'm using this account to mm, I'm going to use this uh, service account to deploy the uh, add the Veeam in uh, Hyper-V host in a console so I need to make sure this account having uh, access administrator access so to verify this I am going here on my Hyper-V host and in the computer management I can go and in a group I can see the account is not added here so if I am uh, means I don't have um, SVC account or uh, does not have administrative rights on this computer so the deployment of um, these tools are uh, going to be a fail and we will not be able to add the Hyper-V host in Veeam so what is the solution for add uh, to just make sure we don't have access if I go here and access the C dollar you can see it's asking the credential so we don't have administrative right uh, either if we have uh, administrative rights it's not going to ask the credential again so let's do fix the credential so there was two ways either we can add manually from here like uh, SVC hyphen Veeam and we can check and add this account here manually uh, this is the solution where you need to add one or two Hyper-V host uh, only and if you have a um, Hyper-V cluster or you having an um, um, many number of Hyper-V host then you can use the group policy to do to add this service account in a server's uh, administrator group so we are going to do uh, this time we, I'm doing manual and now uh, while adding the Hyper-V cluster we are going to do it from group policy so if I click OK and again if I go here and just click on refresh and see now we are able to access a no so you can see we got the administrative access so we are able to access the drives so you can see we have administrative rights now so this is good news we have completed all the three prerequisites and we are good to go and add the Hyper-V host in a Veeam console so I'm going here and uh, virtual infrastructure I'm going to right click and add server I'm going to type the name of the server win2 k12 hv01 I'm going to click next and what type of um, um, server is it so this is not a CVMM not a Hyper-V cluster this is standalone server so this is a standalone Hyper-V host so I'm going to select this and click next and we have already given the service account administrative rights so good we can use this account and also you can see the ports uh, for these th three services you can see which is uh, Veeam installer service data mover and Hyper-V integration so if you want you can uh, specify the ports or either you can use the leaf default range which is given here so we are good to go and uh, click OK and then next okay so it's uh, saying password is expired so we need to check here where password is expired so we need to authenticate the password again so let's do this if I click OK and click next so I have updated my uh, password again so uh, uh, yesterday we have changed the Veeam, um, Veeam service account password so this account so we I have just added that and you can see will be installed component need to be installed so these two components so we are good I'm going to click apply 
so starting manage services and if I go here and add an new programs you can see the installer services coming up and rest is going to come very soon so it's going to take uh, like uh, two to five minutes to get the Hyper-V standalone Hyper-V host added to the Veeam infrastructure so we need to wait you can see now installing package for Hyper-V integration checking disk and volume information so you can see our server is right there but it's still checking and collecting some information for the Hyper-V host and if I go here refresh again you can see all the three services which is backup transport Hyper-V um, integration and installer service all is there so this is good news so now it's going to take some time to investigate all the details and volume information for the Hyper-V host and it's going to save in Veeam, info, Veeam database to uh, to use further so it's going to take some time here you can see creating configuration database record so the record has been created for all these um, details you can see detecting OAS, discovering install package and everything which need to be done it's, uh, is automatically taken care by this wizard so we have to wait for some time so I'm going to pause the recording for now once this wizard is completed we'll write back and we'll see uh, how we can uh, like browse the Hyper-V host and see what is running and what is uh, what else we can do from here so I'm pausing the recording for now so now you can see the server has been saved successfully and we can click next and we can see the summary also so like installing using port this hyper v integration port and transport port all is there and core count 4 and uh, chase is type of virtual vmware so this is coming virtual vmware because i am running all my virtual machines uh, these are our virtual machine which is running on workstation so otherwise you will get here the model number of the hyper v host if you are using the physical servers and here is the user detail which is uh, uh, which is used to get the authenticate server and you have operating system also detail like build and all other details so this is good and we can click on finish so now you can see the hyper v host is added here and you can actually see uh, uh, directly what the virtual machine is there and what is the status of those virtual machine if you see this a uh, play button means the virtual machine is running and you can see the from here you can see the uh, disk use size and provision size and the host name on which these virtual machines are running and the guest OS uh, uh, whatever OS is running on these virtual machines so so this is all about how to add the Hyper-V host in Veeam backup and replication. So thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos. And if you have any query, any question related to this, you can always post me in my given mail address. Thank you once again. Bye-bye.